give this a go, eh? I was a bit nervous coming here at low tide. Um, just gonna give this little uh, kayak launcher a crack. I don't know if my kayak will fit. Didn't really fancy that one. That ramp's not as bad, but definitely a uh, slippery slide. Oh, what was it doing? Oh, fish below me there. Well, welcome back. This is the Farkenell Fishing Channel. Going into summer, I thought I might do a little uh, series of exploring the Brisbane River. So this morning I'm down at um, Norman Creek and head out to the mouth of the river. It looks very fishy. It's obviously a very low <laughs> lying system at low tide. And I was a bit sketchy on the on the uh, launch. But there is a canoe pontoon which sort of saved me. I thought I'd do a series of um, yeah, different places along the river in search of a threadfin salmon to be honest. I'm yet to catch one. In summer, I see them caught up the river quite a bit. I'm definitely keen to give that a go. Plus, I just think the river is an untapped sort of resource. Not a whole lot of people fish further up the river. But yeah, today I'm going to head out to the mouth of the river here. See if I can't find a little dewy. Or just see if anything's in here. It's low tide in a couple of hours. About 7.30. You know, this is pretty deep system, deep banks, looks very jacky, especially in the high tide. Just marked up a whole bunch of fish through here. Probably just mullet. Just never know. Well, I'll see how we go today. There's a lot of bait on the way out, uh, but only a couple of little nibbles. Very brim. Out at the mouth now. Fish these little eddies and rock bars and see if we can't produce something. Probably just legal. Come on, mate. See you, buddy. Oh, one fish on the board. Wonderful. Mm. They look very, very dewy like. I don't know what dewy look like around the sounder, but lying really low, hugging the bottom. Catfish, who knows? Bit of bait around there. Oh, here we go. 
be the fish you're after. Should be a little dewy. See, they're a big flatty, big head shakes. Try and take them in deeper water where we're a bit safer. They're running 10 pound litre on this one. I'd say it's a big flatty, the big head shakes. He's kind of giving it up now. Just a touch. It's a heavy fish. At nine meters now, so I'm pretty well safe. It's just the current now. See my leader. Dewey. That's a Dewey. Not a bad one either. Any reports? How good is that? He swallowed it too. Get him in. Oh. <laughs> yes. Love it when a plan comes together. Let's get out of this current before this bloody city cat comes. Oh, that whole prawn down, only the two inch. I lost the three inch whole prawn on a snag. I'm just trying the two inch. Because I already had it rigged up. The old silver ghost. Not bad, not bad. 60. Just a touch over 60. to keep these guys out too long. So I'll get him back in. Beautiful fish. Oh, he's, he's ready to go. Off you go, big fella. Cruised off. Bloody hell. Not bad at all. Coming out here was definitely paid off. Coming up to low tide now, so there might be a couple more around. Just hooked him right on this drop off where it drops down to sort of five meters. Didn't think my lure was going to get that low, get that to the bottom. Jewies. Oh, Dewey's over to the right, 100%. Oh, I'm in that confident, that's Jewfish. And yeah. It's gotta be Dewey's on the sound of there. The camera's been shooting in time lapse. <laughs> Lucky nothing really happened. Wondering why I was beeping weird. I'm going to dead stick it along here. If I get snagged, I get snagged, but I think dead sticking might be the way to go. Just rolling this whole prawn on the bottom. Fish on! Is there a flatty or another little dew, maybe? Very little dew, though. Might be a brim. <laughs> Still a grunter, a little grunter. Got off, that's all right. Got to see him at least. A couple of bigger grunter around, that'd be all right. Don't mind the old grunter, they pull all right. You know, fishing the Brisbane River kind of proves my theory today. Like it's a Sunday morning, beautiful weather, no real wind. It's probably this in the Gold, on the Gold Coast would have 10 people on, the, on land there and a couple of boats around fishing but I've not seen any boats. I've seen one boat. One boat that may have been fishing somewhere. You know, just see rowers and jet skis and city cats. There's 
Lots of structure here, lots of bait, heaps of bait. Ridiculous amounts of bait. Eventually, Dewey's and Threddy's that come in here and have a, have a feed. I'm hoping as this tide slows up that they might come in, in this little mouthy area. I think it's starting to turn. Starting to turn. Fell in. Oh shit, it's lost the rod. Uh, I just lost my rod. How the fuck did that happen? Well, this session has come at a cost. It's been my water bottle and my net caught my rod in the rod holder and flicked it out. Didn't even know it. I heard a plop, but I thought it was just a fish. Then I saw my rod sinking. Fuck. Trying to foul hook it with me vibe. Don't have that much confidence. Yeah, it might be time to head in. It's just past 8.30. Bit of potential here. I'll just have to come back on a better, better moon phase or uh, maybe even a different tide. Losing a rod today <laughs> was not ideal. Luckily it was my light setup that I don't uh, not really fussed about. The reel was a, getting a bit funny. And the braid was pretty old, so the rod was a nice atomic rim surface rod. But uh, luckily, I have another light rod for it. That breeze is just starting to get up. I'm just hoping I have enough water to actually get back onto the pontoon. I was hoping to get on the get up the ramp rather than the pontoon, but I think I have to use the pontoon. I'm just gonna try and nose into this. See if I can use the kayak ramp. Use a little kayak ramp here to my advantage. I don't need to pull the drive out. I don't think I'll fit. It might be easier to get out. Get my kayak out of here. Looking a little tilty. Oh, get it. Oh. Tell you what, go to the Revo. Lucky you got the Revo, mate. You wouldn't want another diff a different kayak, an Outback or a PA. Revo just slides in. And you can get the wheels in. Maybe an added bonus. The wheels are wider. But there's a block there. If I had someone else to pull. Oh dear. Oh. Not pretty, but it'll do. In short, low tide is doable here, if you've got a skinny kayak. 